music wasn't sad enough so we had to go a little extra sad because you're watching the second to last ever page and coyotes post game show and as rob in the chat said there's only one hour of arizona coyotes hockey left and that just hurts a little bit. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in to the PHNX Coyotes post game show. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and leave us a five star review. I'm Leah here with Petey, Craig, Danielle. We have Raz here as well. How are you guys feeling today? I was feeling pretty good until Danielle chose that music, which was brilliant. <laughs> but also, Danielle brought us homemade enchiladas. You brought us homemade brownies. So I'm still feeling pretty good, actually. You know, I'm not feeling well. Um, Is it the rattlesnake? Yeah, the rattlesnake rattled me, by the way. By, no pun no intended pun there. Intended. I, 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 It's legit. When you talk about the rattlesnake, I went outside to get away from, from it. I put peaceful classical music on my earphones, and I went to work in my yard to try to get away from all of this. And then I find a rattlesnake. But, but the reality is that this is getting closer and closer to the end, and it's really hard. And I know our fans understand that. And I know there's trolls out there and they're laughing. Oh, I get all that. But but one of the things that hit me today, a couple things. Um, my son was born when I worked for the Coyotes. And I worked for the team. And he was a baby inside the ice den. And he learned to skate at a Coyotes Christmas party. And this isn't about a team for me. And I, and I don't know, people, people again, they're making fun of it, but it's more than that. It's more than a team. This was my, this was my family. This is my life. This is, this is what I woke up in the morning to be a part of. So it was more important than that. But, but then I got here tonight to the studio and I can't tell you how much I admire Leah and the work she's done here and how proud I am to work with her and how important she's become to me and, and what I do here. And she sat in the, in the more furniture chairs and she had a picture. Mm. And it was a picture of a nine-year-old Leah Merrill in a coyote jersey at the arena with a smile that I, I, I tell you lit up the room. She was so happy to be there and be a part of this. And she started to go through her phone and show me pictures of her growing up in Glendale Arena, growing up with a Coyotes jersey, birthday parties at the arena, and being part of this. And, and, and every day something else hits me differently. And, and to those that say it's just a team, it's not. It's not just a team. It goes so much deeper than that. It's our memories. It's our life. It's what we surrounded ourselves with. Sports are more important than that. And, and, and I know I'm here to be a hockey analyst and talk about hockey. And I'll be honest, I don't care much about this game today. I didn't watch much of this game today. And, and, and we will talk a little bit about it because that's what we're here to do. But this is hard for the three of the people here. Raz is here. Danielle. It's really hard on us. Danielle just found hockey. Just found it. This is hard and it's sad and, and I don't know what's going to fill that void in my life. And um, I just so proud and thankful and grateful that I had three years to do it with you two. This has been absolutely amazing. I can't believe it's coming to an end. I, I didn't believe it was coming to an end. Even as, la as soon as last weekend, I didn't believe it. But I do sincerely want to thank you. I, this has been the most fun I've ever had in my life. Challenging. I've learned so much. And, and thank you for letting me go on this little bit of a, of a diatribe here. I thank you so much for all this. And I'm sorry I don't feel like talking about hockey tonight. Have you had a specific memory come up recently? So many, but yeah. I, I don't feel, I honestly don't feel ready to talk about it because okay. I'm just like, that made me very emotional. So thank I, you for saying all that. But. I woke up today 
and I'm almost never on Facebook anymore, but I went on and up pops a, a post from Jerry Brown, who was the beat writer for the East Valley Tribune, the guy that I learned under. I was the backup writer for Jerry Brown right when the Coyotes got here. And he talked about the moment when he and I broke the story that the Coyotes were coming here. We broke that story. I remember where I was sitting, the desk that I was sitting at in the Tribune office. And I remember making the phone call to my buddy, Eddie Olchek, who was playing for the Jets, and he was the source. I don't mind giving it up now. And, and it just brought back all these... It, it goes back so far, first of all. There's such a long history here in the Valley. It's just... I know there's still the auction. I know there's still the possibility that the NHL comes back in relatively short order. I, I do think it'll be back at some point in the future, but it's not the Coyotes. I don't yeah. care if they keep the name. I, I don't. I, it's, yeah. it's not the same. It's not them anymore. It isn't. It yep. won't be them. No, it's not them. And it's it's really hard to think about that. <sighs> yeah. and just I didn't think we were going here tonight. No, me I know, I'm sorry. That's me. I, I blame me, too, because I sat here and looked at the <laughs> score sheet and the numbers, and I know we're going to do it. We are going to talk about the game because I think it's important we, we do the transition from what these young guys are doing here and how important it is to show that we care about that. And, I, and I'm sorry I took it down there early because as soon as the cameras came on, I, I had to because this this is so much more to me than a hockey game. So much more to me than than just a hockey team. It's so much more than that. And, we all grew up around the game, too. I think that that's part of it, right? Yep. All three of us grew up around yes. the game. Yep. It's hard. This is hard to do right now. The yeah. hard for three of us to sit here and talk about this right now, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the last few shows have been fine, but like we were sitting here about to start, and I like I felt very overwhelmed yeah. by emotion. This this that was the last road game that we will cover. That was, that was the, the last time Coyotes. we were all in studio because yep. we're going to be at Mullet on we'll Wednesday. We'll be at Mullet on Wednesday, and it's just not the same. And we're all here yep. together, and it's. I mean, we're gonna we're the show is not done when the last yes. game is done. Like we're gonna keep going for a little bit, so the three of us will be sitting in these chairs more, but not yes, not post game, not post game. So yep. That's just that made me okay. really sad and overwhelmed me. Let's transition, Leah. Okay. I'm sorry I stole the thunder sure. and I took away the lead. And now you're going to tr- steal the and thunder it's as a host. L-E-D-E for those of you who are not in journalism because <laughs> I didn't know that until I got on this side of the mic. I always thought it was lead because it led L-E-A-D. Like that it led the sense. story. But we had to. But you guys as journalists had to, had to make it. word. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a journalist thing to do. It is. It's... L-E-D. No, it's a lead. <laughs> but anyway, to bring it, the Coyotes lost tonight in Calgary. How about that? Yeah, there you go. Um, John just said, did I hear Petey looked at the rundown? <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a first. Buddy, took... you got to start somewhere. It's... The Coyotes oh. lost. The young guys played really good. Goaltender got hurt, but I hear he's going to be okay. So that's good news. So everybody's panicking right now. You breaking he's news be okay. here? I am broken, breaking news. Yeah. I'm not giving my source. Breaking news. See, I, I'm not giving up my news. source. But uh, Connor Ingram's going to be okay. So that's good. So everybody can... Good, because it was his last game in a Coyotes yeah. uniform. So big sigh of relief that he's going to be okay. <laughs> sigh of relief. You say sigh of relief right when Craig lets out its sigh. Size. Um, let's get to let's get to some game talk and we'll kind of fly through it quick and we'll take a look at the numbers presented by Desert Financial Credit Union, Arizona's number one credit union named by Forbes. Shots on goal, 35 for the Coyotes, 31 for Calgary. Power play, both teams, one for, one for three. three. Faceoffs, uh, 61 for Calgary, 39 for Arizona. And then shot attempts, Coyotes had 69. Nice. nice. And Calgary had 56. And I will also say, I also didn't watch much of this game. And I, and I don't care. Honest. The face-off thing, they're going to have to straighten up in Salt Lake City because <laughs> they, they suck at the face-off and they have for most of the year since Barrett Hayton has left. And that's what you get when you have young centermen. The power play, Dylan Gunther, fantastic shot on the power play. He's going to be a, a great power play player for the Salt Lake City Thunder. Um I'll make up names as the show goes on. Just hang in there. I'm sticking with Flamingos. Like, Flamingos is fine, yeah. too. He's going to be a hell of a hockey player, that kid. And I think yes, that what you saw is. with his shot and his release oh. from that tight of an angle today, again, it, it goes to how hard my heart is broken right now to see finally all of the pain and suffering that the fan base had to go through to get through the rebuild. And you saw glimpses of it again tonight. Michelli, Doan, Gunther. And you say, wow. So I 31 goal pace, the by the way. What's Dylan, that? Dylan Gunther, 31 goal pace. That's amazing. Just absurd. Like, he's not going to get there. He's going to fall just short because there's only one game left. But he came damn close to scoring 20 goals. 20 goals in half a season. Yeah. Good for him. Flowers yeah. to him. Dylan Gunther scored his 16th and 17th of the season. I cannot believe it. I, I genuinely can't. Um, and we keep we kept saying, like, all night, he's going to be a star in this league. 
and it just yes. hurts so bad that it's not going to be here. Matias Michelli scores again tonight, just like last game, his 16th of the season. He's a huge part of this Coyotes' future. And then Josh Doan scores on an his- unbelievable shot, his fifth of the season. He's been the brightest spot in the not-so-bright 2024 on this team. And he literally scores, and a friend texted me, I'm actually crying like immediately after the goal and said, we've waited our entire lives for a team with this much hope and they just take it away. It is funny though. You're right. Because even last year's team, you say, Oh, we got these draft picks, but all these draft picks are players and the players are actually kind of good. And, and Josh Doan, I'm happy for him because you got to do it in front of Bernie and Bernice, his grandparents, his uncle was there. He had relatives there. I'm so happy for the kid. They got an opportunity to wear the Kachina, just like his dad did. Yeah. So happy that it got to be bookended like that. And, and he, this kid's not done. I don't know what his NHL future is going to be either. But I tell you what, the kid works his ass off. He does things right. He plays the game the right way, and he's got a really good shot, and he gets the blue paint. He's going to be an NHL player. I'm really happy for him. I'm glad we got the opportunity to see him. And we were there at night one. We were all in the building night one, and he gets the goal. So, or two goals that night. I'm really happy that we, you know, you, you got to go look for those happy moments. And this is one of those moments for what Josh Stone was able to accomplish for this franchise, wearing the same sweater that his dad had all of that success in. Not the banner, but that's another story. <laughs> oh, if you know, you know. Yeah. Couldn't go pick it up. No. Nope. Too far. Too far. Can't go get it. HK. I'm not going to get that banner. Well, sorry. Dylan Gunther made a case for himself to be tonight's desert dog in him. But as we've been doing since the news of relocation broke, none of the players get the desert dog. And for the third game in a row, tonight's desert dog goes to Coyotes fans. Always there. Thank you, Coyotes fans, for always being there. The fans have the desert dog in them for always being there. Um, And they truly do. And again, if you haven't looked at the thread at PHNX underscore Coyotes oh my God. with the memories, photos, and we'll, we'll actually show some at the end of the show. Phenomenal. Yeah. Truly phenomenal. Um, and there's more to come on all of us getting together to. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot of memories yeah. over the next few weeks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we'll see a bunch of you down in Tucson um, a little less than a week from today. Is that really next, coming? This coming Saturday. I know this is going to be an extremely emotional roller coaster of a week, um, but I'm actually really looking forward to getting down to Tucson to watch the Roadrunners season finale. Will it be the last game in Tucson? That's a great question. I'll have a story on that tomorrow. There you go. At on Tucson? GoPHNX.com. Yes. Tucson? There you yes. go. There you go. Um, we're meeting up at Illegal Pete's on at 5 p.m. on Saturday in Tucson. So join us there. You can get, reserve your tickets now. It's free. Go phnx.com slash events. But that ticket page also has links for 40% off Roadrunner tickets. 40% off. Go to the game. Go to the game. Yeah. yeah, go to the game. Yeah, go to the game. Hey, let's let's go out doing this together. Yep. That's it. We started it together. We're going out together. Yep. That's all. Yep. We love to see everybody there. Remember when we started with talking to like three people? I do. I was so mad we that night. <laughs> so <laughs> mad there at you guys. And like Dale. three people were talking to us. Yeah. Yeah. Dale came. Lou mm-hmm. came. I was so mad. Yeah. Like Jacob, our, our, our lanky. Can I use the word lanky? Yes, you I can. think you can. Yeah, it's, it's his birthday, by the way. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jacob. The lanky producer said, no, you have to go do this. I'm like, buddy, we're going to look like idiots standing up there. Nobody's going to know. But we had eight or six? Six. Six. Yeah, yeah it wasn't many. But and that's you know not what? the case anymore. Every step has been worth it. Yep. PHNX. I agree. What a what a what a family at PHNX. Yep. That's what it's intended to do. Build and, a community, and we did. And you know what? What? When we go to that game, you can actually bet on the American Hockey League. You cannot. And I think we oh, should do some buddy. action when we're down in Tucson on Bet MGM. In. Yeah. Let's I'm, do it. I'm so in. Can you bet on Chuck a Puck? No. <gasps> Chuck a puck. We're chucking pucks. We are chucking pucks. Bet and MGM we're donuts. And we're eating donuts. Hell Mini yeah. donuts, Chuck a puck. Sorry, Bet MGM. It's all good. Um, if you haven't signed up for Bet MGM yet, use the bonus code PHNX when you do. Place your first Bet MGM Sportsbook wager through the Bet MGM Sportsbook mobile app for at least ten dollars, and you'll receive up to fifteen hundred dollars in bonus bets. If the bet loses, you can check out the show notes for full of details. And now, listen to Shane talk about the disclaimer. Bonus bets expire in seven days. One new customer offer only. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Available in the U.S. Call 877-8-HOPE-NY-467-369, New York. Call 1-800-327-5050, Massachusetts. 21 plus only. Please gamble responsibly. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP, Arizona. 1-800-BETS-OFF-IOWA. 1-800-981-0023, Puerto Rico. First bet offer for new customers only. Subject to eligibility requirements. Bonus bets are non-withdrawable. In partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel. See BetMGM.com for terms. U.S. promotional offers not available in New York, Nevada, North Carolina, Ontario, or Puerto Rico. Salt Lake City might be getting hockey, but you know what they won't be getting? 
Gila River Resorts <laughs> and Casinos. Tr- trust me. Can't have it. coming to Utah anytime <laughs> soon, buddy. <laughs> so if you want to do you, you got to do it at the Wild Horse Pass and Casinos with Gila River Resorts. And no one does it better. It is time for a staycation. I need to get away. <laughs> it's time to go there to a AAA four diamond property on Wild Horse Pass Casino. Sit by the pool. Have a margarita. And just drift away. Doesn't that sound nice? Yeah. It's a good it song, too. Sound yeah, good. it is a good song. It sounds nice. Classic. So if, you can have a staycation right here in the Valley. Make sure you check out Gila River Resorts and Casinos. Not only that, but they got the state-of-the-art gaming floor with slot machines, black deck tables, and table games, and Arizona's largest casino sports book. And then go out to a nice dinner on that rooftop at Shula's. Gila River Resorts and Casinos. Let them show you what Next Level is all about. You do you at Gila River Resorts and Casinos. Visit play at Gila.com for more details. So for per- for possibly the first time this season, um, <laughs> the Coyotes Twitter account hasn't stressed me out because they've been radio silence since tweeting hmm. Alex Morello Sr.'s statement from the account um, midday yesterday. They did not t- live tweet this game at all, which they had been doing all through last week, even though they were, quote, blocking out the noise, um, as well as some other posts. But yeah, radio silence from the Coyote Twitter. So that might be a welcome silence for a lot of us because it's been very tone deaf for a while. But I was really disappointed. And I'll tell you why. Because if you've been following the Coyotes Twitter over the last week, and I know all of us have been, there was a very important event going on over the weekend at the Scottsdale Fashion Square. They had a pop up for their streetwear. And I didn't get to hear the follow-up for the pop-up to their fashion wear because their Twitter went silent. How am I supposed to follow streetwear fashion if they're not tweeting it out? Did that come before or after the statement? Before. The pop-up? It came before. Okay. The pop-up? But they continued to promote it, right? The pop-up? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, that's what I thought. The statement do you, do you, is the last thing on their Twitter. Did you think somebody went into the storeroom at the streetwear company? I'm not sure where that is because I worked for the team at one point. Did not see the streetwear brand, so I don't know where they keep that. I'm sure it's in a storage facility somewhere, but I'm not quite sure if somebody went in and go, oh, shit, we have a lot of cardboard boxes full of streetwear. We should probably pop it up. Do we think we need to pop it up? So thus came the pop-up at Fashion Square. How fucking tone deaf is that? Yeah. Like, how stupid is that? That's, like really? Like that's just like just kick me in the nuts. That's just part bend of the me story. over and kick me in the nuts. It's part of the story that that it, li- listen, we've told you we're going to stick around for a little while and we're going to be discussing some of these things on the show. I have some stories that I need to write as well. I mentioned yesterday I've got something on Tucson. I've got other stories to write as well. But one of them is we were talking about it tonight earlier tonight. One of them is really going to be looking at all the mistakes yeah. that led to this point. And I'm not talking mistakes over the past 25 years because there, there oh. are certainly a lot of mistakes. We've yeah. all, we everybody, we've all mentioned the the Steve Elman decision to sure. go west. That was the the that was the original sin. Yeah. I'm talking about the rest- mistakes, the repeated mistakes of this current ownership group that led us to this point. And there were a bunch of them. We'll get into that as well. You can bet we were going to get into that as well over the next couple of weeks. And I do want to apologize. I usually don't use profanity on the show. I'm very sorry. My emotions took over. I apologize. Kids. Potty mouth. Dan has got the kids in the car again. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. You have to explain that. I feel I'm like sorry. this is a unique circumstance to I am sorry. allow for I, I'm, that. I am. I have, I'm full. I'm full of anger because I think there is so much misplaced. At the end of the day, a hockey team is about hockey. I do understand community relations because I think that's important. I do understand going to, to schools and reading programs and, and diversity Even trying programs. to reach different markets, right? I, All that I makes sense. I understand that. But? I never understood the streetwear. And, and here's what we were told by, by Coyote's president and CEO, Javier Gutierrez. Well, it's bringing it into markets yep. that aren't traditional hockey markets. And you know what I said? Okay, I'll buy that. But then when you have a pop-up store during the season, and this happened, I'm not again not making this up. They had a pop up during and with a with a with an with another one of their rebranding of one of their other streetwear companies. They didn't send their social media team to the game where the actual hockey team was playing. It was dominated at a pop up store. Oh yeah, I was at that pop up. Yeah, you were at that pop up. But they dominated the <laughs> pop up store. And again, to me, that's where the vision gets lost. That's where one is not because of the other. The hockey team is why you're here. That's. 
That's and, simply and that got not lost. knowing what you're doing. That got lost. That's what that is. That's not knowing what you're doing right. when running a franchise. And if you want to do it, if you want to be a streetwear company, build a streetwear company. Just go ahead. Sell the team to somebody else that wants to be. Well, I guess that's what they're doing. So but <laughs> be a streetwear guy. Design hoodies that cost 150 bucks that no hockey fan in the Valley bought because it doesn't hit your market. Like what? The, figure it out. Yeah. Like, come on, it's a hockey team. And I said this before about being a fan of a team. And, I, and, and, I, and I'm a fan of a, a couple. I follow the Coyotes. I don't know if I'm a deep fandom because I wasn't born into it. But, but I don't care about all the periphery. I want my team to win. Period. End of story. That's all I care about. And I love all the periphery things that they're, they're positive and they bring that positive energy. I want my team to win. Yep. The rest of it, I don't care. So until there's an owner in this valley that understands that people don't care, people in the valley, they want you to be a good person. They want you to be publicly positive. They want you to be a part of this community, embrace the community. And more importantly than anything, they want you to show them that you're trying to win. And I think this season with Bill Armstrong and the draft picks and the development people and the players that he's got coming up, I felt that they were finally trying to win. Well, and you know, Wells is trying to win. The Tucson Roadrunners mm -hmm. um, have officially secured home ice advantage. I know that's something we were talking about. Um, They've won four straight games. Really that's unreal. Good for, for them with yeah. the players they have out of their lineup. How? Testament to their coaching staff. Yes. And, and, the, and the, the coaching grit. staff, by the way, that's not under contract next season. How is season. that not possible? I don't know. But so it, Steve Potter, you better get those guys signed. John Slaney, not sure their, their future. I tell you what, really, really good human beings. I've known John Slaney for a very long time. I worked with him at the Coyotes yeah, organization for a while. very long time. Yep. Steve Potvin, if you've seen him on our show, and you if you haven't seen him on our show, you should, because he's still at the top of the guest list. Um, quality human being. Good hockey coach, but better human being. And, and, and you know what? That's too. more important. Like you talk about coaches that you'd run through a wall for, you'd run yes. through a wall for Steve. For Potvin. sure, and that's why they yeah. win. Yeah. And he doesn't bitch and complain who's in and out of the roster. He, and he, and he uh, even in private, when he could to us, when yep. we're not even talking nope. on air, nope, no, it's okay. It's I'm, whoever they give I'm us. happy for these guys that they're getting the opportunity. Yep, getting the opportunity just give us another challenge. Yep. It's just like, are, are you real? Yeah. He is, but yeah, you, so can't you, want, you want to root for them. And that's again, the way he approaches so life. for them yeah. getting home ice, we, we talked how important it is for these, some of these players to get the opportunity to play meaningful games this late in the spring. Yeah. Um, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I, and I don't, I want to say that the right way. I don't care about their meaningful games in the spring because those games are going to be used for their development in Salt Lake City. I, I'm I'm happy for the kids and the people of the Tucson Roadrunners. And, yes. and I hope I did that context was taken completely out. The future and what they do in their development. I'm so happy for these guys. I hope they win the, I hope they win it all. I hope they go and I hope they they band together and it's us against the world and they they rally together and they do this. I really, really do, because there are some wonderful people down in Tucson. Wonderful people with this organization down in the Tucson Rotors, and I am rooting for them 100%. You know what else I hope? I hope they stay in Tucson. I yeah. hope the Morellos don't relocate another franchise. I agree. It belongs there. I it does. Agree. It does. Yeah. It's not fair to the fans. Yeah. I agree. And it's close enough to get down to a game. Um, if you want to go to any of the playoff games, it will be a whiteout. The first game is Wednesday, April 24th. Friday, April 26th, and then Sunday, April 28th. Those are all home games down in Tucson. So uh, get down to some support the Roadrunners. We'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there on the 20th. We'll be there on the 20th. Um, Can't wait. Speaking of Coyote's prospects having success. Mm, I ran my last prospect report today. That was tough. Go ahead. <sighs> Tragic. I mentioned Mik a minute. Miko Matik. <laughs> Good pause. And Denver won the national championship. Um, great videos online of him, by the way. Really yeah. emotional on the ice, FaceTiming his family back in Finland. And that was another one last night that really, really hurt me because it was such a weird mixed emotion where I was watching these videos and seeing that he won. And I was so excited for him. Like, yeah. Craig and I interviewed him at the podium in Montreal. Yeah. And I, like, I remember thinking, oh, I can't wait till this guy's part of this. Yeah. Team. And, He's and, another one to watch too. Big body, yeah. big shot. And like, you know, normally I'd be tweeting about it, and I just didn't, and I couldn't, and it was hard. Um, but congratulations to Miko and Denver. Yeah. So David Carl, the accomplished coach of the Denver Pioneers, um, good friends with David Ludwig, by the way. Did not know that. Texted him, sent me just a, a text with ten trophies because that's Denver's tenth yeah, national I think championship. They, are they now? Do they lead all time 
NCAA uh, hockey? I have to go back and look. I'm I not actually sure, do. but they might. In I think it's a great program. New conference. It's a nice. great program. Yeah, it is great. It's great. Denver, they're burning couches on the street, though. I don't know. Where yeah. do college kids burn their furniture? I don't know. I was once at a party in college where they threw a couch into the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My my roommates threw a couch <laughs> off a balcony. <laughs> and, and I watched like... If you're a couch near a college campus. I watched it. Why? 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 I don't, why I don't do understand that. that. <laughs> I, oh, boy. I don't know what the couch burning thing is. I don't know, but congratulations to Miko. And, and, and again, it's, it's, it's just one of those, another one of those hollow moments. Yeah. Like we've yeah. been so excited. It's so funny how quickly this turned a week ago. Right now, we weren't talking like this. Nope. No, we and, didn't watch along a week ago today. And we were so hopeful for the future and all of these draft picks. And, and they felt like they were a part of what we were doing here. And it, it's 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 so hollow right now. Okay. Speaking of hollow. Yes. Um, locomotive is in the KHL final. And I'm sure we've got diehards that could break it all down for me because yeah. I have not seen one game. No, I'm sorry. So yeah. Dmitry Simishev and Tamil Boot, I hope you're excited about living in Salt Lake City, Utah. There you go. Um, okay, well, great we, ring we, though we... in Salt Lake, right? Beautiful new building. No, not so much. Never mind. Sorry. <sighs> okay, well we can just move on um, to talk about youth hockey. And again, Craig will have more on this coming soon at gophnx.com. Yes, but... this is another story. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but a lot of people have been commenting on Twitter and rightfully so and it was something we even discussed last week about what's going to happen to youth hockey in Arizona um, and someone reached out about the Kachinas and I wanted to specifically highlight this and I'm going to put a link in the chat um, but the Kachinas received an IGF grant funds for four years from the NHL, NHLPA and Coyotes for $250,000 a year and it was, it was only three but that's okay oh that's what I, well, I was told. Um, anywho. I talked to the source. Oh, okay. <laughs> anywho, the it was going to end at the season, the end of the season, regardless of the kind of moving or not. Um, but it's going to increase the cost per girl by two thousand dollars a year. <sighs> so if you are able to help support, they have um, an end of season party coming up on April twenty seventh. The information's on the screen. If you're watching on YouTube, and if you can't attend the event, you can donate money to the Kachinas, um, and I'm going to drop the link in the chat right now for that. Um, But I know not everybody's able to, so if you're able to donate, please do, or if you're just willing to share this link with others so we can hopefully uh, raise some money. Because hockey's still here in the desert. It's still here. Just because the NHL is not here does not mean that hockey is not here. Right. And I feel like everyone says hockey belongs in the desert, and it does, but just because NHL isn't here doesn't mean... Yeah. hockey isn't um but it you know i i saw just some stuff like i mean a lot of the coyotes facebook groups and people with young kids talking about their kids feeling really upset about this and you know it's actually been really heartbreaking to see parents having to say like i had to sit down with my young children and explain to them like that the coyotes are leaving and why and it's just extremely heartbreaking you have to remember like these are children and yep. so many we talk about how many kids play the game because of the coyotes Matthew Nyes literally said it this week. We know Austin Matthews is one of those as well. Um, and countless others who didn't even go on to play in, a, in the NHL, but just played hockey. And, you know, I had sent out a tweet earlier today with one of those examples of this mom who posted in the Facebook group about her young kid saying, what's the point? I, you know, I don't care anymore. And again, like these are children and you have to realize like they're looking at the coyotes because that's, that's their example. That's the shining thing to accomplish. And I have to say, and I will, Dan, turn this off. (laughs) Earmuffs, Dan, earmuffs. People on Twitter are fucking assholes and horrible people. And the replies to that were so disgusting, horrible, and awful. I simply cannot believe this is how people think and behave. Go look at yourself in the fucking mirror. If you're calling a kid soft and weak or not interested or any of anything like that because i promise you you're not saying that to a mother and her two children's face yeah. sure you can say it to my tweet but you're a fucking asshole and a fucking dick and i'm sorry that is the record for and how many coward. times i've sworn on you're this show coward in too. three years yep. but you have to understand how upset this made me this morning and i was like transparent i was fully in tears this morning on my Twitter hmm. and I've been I mean I've been in tears every day this week but to be like I will say overwhelmingly 
the f- like people have been very kind this yeah. week overwhelmingly but today i just saw the ugliness really just like reared itself and it really like gave me pause and and it just it made me very 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 concerned about the state of our society with some of these replies so i just i'm sorry for swearing and i'm sorry for you know, being okay. negative but i like you you know you guys open the show talking about like things that you've been feeling today that yeah. was something that i felt like i just it just break like it breaks my heart it breaks my heart i think it's about the passion we all feel for this game is what i think it comes down to and and i think it's also the passion we feel and care about other human beings and and, and i understand that little kids they want to be the next Josh Stone, Logan Cooley, Dylan. That's what they want to be when you put on a pair of skates and skate out at the ice stand or over at Arcadia or Oceanside. You, you want to be them. You That is your role model. That's what you envision. So when that goes away, you don't understand it. We're having a hard time understanding it. We're adults. Like for, To say things to kids, by the way, I, I'm sure everybody's mom told them this. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. Uh, for taking the effort to, to demean or say something bad to somebody, I just don't. I physically don't understand that. I want to debate you. I will talk about any topic you want, but but don't be mean, please. Anyway, Leah, I, I, I'm so sorry that that went that way because it was a really touching story. And, and, and there's a concern about what happens to youth hockey in Arizona. There is. And I know Craig's going to talk to some people in youth hockey here in Arizona in the, in the upcoming um, upcoming weeks to find out what kind of effect they feel it's going to have here. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Let's start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that's that space. There are people like that. Yeah, I agree with you completely. You're. I was this before take, this. Take PH a hard look X. in the mirror, buddy. Do you know how many you're, Twitter you're followers pathetic. I had? Two. My son and his buddy that gave me Twitter so I could follow hockey accounts. I had two. Didn't have to deal with any of this. <laughs> Didn't deal with it. Followed <laughs> hockey people. I was all fine. Daniel, did you see the, see the thing people. I just sent you in Coyotes assignments? When you can throw that up, no, no rush. I know I just threw it at you, but. We'll talk about uh, it when okay. we get to it, but you can read the ads. And, in the I meantime. Pro- and I promise that we'll be more positive at the end because there's some good stuff coming. Yeah. Um, and one positive <laughs> is that you can get $200 right now simply by opening a free checking account online at Desert Financial Credit Union Bank like Craig. I went there today just to roll Ooh, in my gold. In your vault? Yeah. Did yeah. they give you um, seltzer water at the appropriate temperature? Pellegrino, yes. yes. Yeah. There you go. They there's, know when he walks in. Yes. I can see the guy at the Desert Financial Credit Union with the little white napkin over his arm. Oh, Mr. Morgan is here. <laughs> Please would, fetch the Pellegrino. Would you like to roll in your gold again? Yes, yes. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Desert Financial Credit Union here to serve. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the Desert Financial Team are financial experts committed to their members and the community, and they can help you out with checking, savings account, mortgages, loans, credit cards, investment options, and more. And like I said, when you open a free checking account online, you'll get $200 in bonuses. Get started by visiting desertfinancial.com slash 200. And then pick up some Arizona lottery tickets because I, the way I, my math works. Go to the land auction with your winnings. If we all put our winnings together... <laughs> We can go buy a piece of land at the 101 in Scottsdale Road, or if we can come up with 1.2 billion in the next three days, who knows? Play Arizona Lottery's newest game, Arizona Adventure. Three ways to win. Scratch the tickets featuring three iconic landscapes in Arizona, not Utah, Arizona. And then you can also go to geolocated adventures at 10 destinations across the state from Flake Staff Human and just check in for a chance to win Arizona cash and travel prizes. Or you can enter those tickets online to win $1 million in cash and prizes. The Arizona Lottery is not just about playing games and winning prizes. It's also about giving back to the state and its communities. Visit azadventure.com for more information on how you can take an adventure for a chance to win $1 million in cash and Arizona travel prizes. Yeah, you can go put it up now, Danielle. Jeffrey Sanders just sent this to me. These are the last road goal pucks in Coyotes history. Damn. That stack right there. Damn. There's just going to be a, a ton of these things. Thank you, Jeffrey, for sending that. I will say this Appreciate to Jeffrey. It, by the way. Hats off to him or, or whoever oh. did have the foresight to collect those. Yeah. That how important that history is to this this team and this this franchise and this city. So good job, Jeffrey Sanders. Soon to be married. Can I say that on air? Is that okay? Well, you already did, so. Got it out there. Congratulations, <laughs> Jeffrey. Thanks for all your help along the way, Jeffrey. Seriously. Appreciate you and having those pucks. Um, we'll have a beer. We'll have a beer, Jeffrey. <laughs> boy, howdy. Oh, boy. Um, okay, well, let's 
read some of our super chats really quick um, before we move on. We'll scroll to the top. Roaring Fork said, that's what Danielle brought in. was amazing to see. I wish my workplace had the camaraderie that exists at PHNX. I hope the show is around for as long as it can be, even if it's just to cover the NHL a la what chaos. We will discuss in the future. And Stay tuned. Danielle's food was amazing. Yeah, it was. Did PD ever cook for us? I did. A cook for you? Yeah. Cook? <laughs> Funny. No, I cook every day. I'm not cooking for you. Didn't he cook for you once? He did. I did. Wow. I had salmon. I've been to Petey's house. Craig had Special. salmon at my house. It was good. You? No. No. Um, Leo hasn't right. been invited yet. John Petey doesn't invite anyone. said, car shade giveaway on Tuesday. Is that to block out the noise? Wow. Are they giving away car shades they on are. Wednesday? Oh, they are? Yeah. I mean, car shades are useful <laughs> in yeah, Arizona. To block out the noise. Oh, yeah. Blech. And then John said, I will miss hearing Tyson talk about winning face-offs and getting to the front of the net. Back of the net. <laughs> How important are face-offs? They won 35% today, the so man. not very important. Also, last They're time... They're one of the worst teams in the league. Yeah. Sorry. Also, last time the Yotes had 620 goal scorers, the last time the franchise, I'm guessing that meant relocated. It's true. Last year <sighs> don't draft a don't and don't have 620 goal scorers, I guess. Yep. That's uh, true. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, John. SC said, hugs to PD, especially. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've only been a fan since 2017. I'm out of state and I am heartbroken. Thanks, SC. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, and Mike said, PD, stop. You're making me cry. That was probably during your yeah, story at the beginning. So. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, Big City FDO said, I'm so sorry of what the fans are going through. You all do not deserve this. Thanks. Appreciate it. And see, there is there are kind, empathetic people out there. So, um, Wildly said, I will probably follow Salt Lake City for a few years because they are still the Coyotes for me unless they make major changes next year. We've heard a completely a mix of how yep. people are going to approach this. Yeah. So we'll I'm talk honestly more not about sure that. yet. We'll talk about it yeah. more. Our own personal journeys. Um, we'll see. Our own Johnny Venerable Johnny. of PHNX Cardinals. Love you guys. Love you, Johnny. Thank you so much. Isn't that funny? Like That's their community. Yeah, like that's our community. These are our friends. These are our family. Yeah, too. I went from one team to another team. This one's a lot more fun, by the way. And we also are allowed to do drugs and <laughs> drink. And drink. <laughs> no offense, Coyotes, but I didn't see any OGs floating around the room at the at the Coyotes. Oh, uh, PHNX. Oh, sorry, Dirt Bike Boy seven one four PHNX Roadrunners. So we can see this crew every day still. Um, I mean, if the Roadrunners stay in Arizona, I'm sure we will check in on them. We'll check in on them. Yeah, we'll see. Um, GMAC91, I'm an Avs fan who loves the Yotes, been to Jobbing and Mullet, AZ fans have been so cool, always felt a connection between Avs and Yotes, things should have worked in Phoenix like they did in Denver, fingers crossed it does next time. Thank Thanks. you so Appreciate much. Appreciate that. Really nice. Um, Michael said, here's to one last ride Wednesday, let's enjoy every moment yep. of it. I can't even think about Wednesday because I get I too upset, so mm -hmm. I'm going to try I'm not, not sure to the emotions. We'll talk about that later, Wednesday. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, Ryan said, let's get one of the, all these juicy stories out of PD tonight. LOL. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe there after are some a stories. Few Maybe not tonight. We'll talk copy machines and office phones someday. <laughs> Ryan. That's it. That's just oh. a teaser. I'm just a teasing you. Riley Ryle said, love you guys. And I have to say, I felt like PD the last few days. Your show makes it better. Truly pack therapy. Hope you guys stick around for a long time. Thank you. It really has been pack therapy till the very end. <laughs> Easy sports guy, well, Petey in the banner. I know, I won't oh, tell. Oh, who has it? I, I won't tell anymore, I promise. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Then, like, where do you put a 15-foot banner? Like, where do you put it? Like, my wife would kill me. <laughs> I mean, it depends. depends on like, how you store it. Well, I mean, I'd hang it, buddy. I'd hang yeah, it. Yeah, I like, would well, How big of a flagpole do you need? <laughs> <laughs> now you're trying to oh, did I say that? What? I would put it, I would put it on the it. front you of my house. You gotta hang it, buddy. Put it on the front of my house and let it hang down. That'd be Hell awesome. Hell yeah, right? let's go. On like the ceiling in I your house? It. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta uh, hang it. As you said, how long until Pop Van gets a call from the NHL? Interesting question. Interesting question. And I, Craig brought that up during an article this year. Yep. I, it's interesting. I, 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 he'd be on my short list. Because of the way coaches are today, and, and we talked, to, I talked about this actually with an NHL coach within the last forty-eight hours about he connects the, with players. the evolution of coaches. He connects with players and, and young players improve Matters. under him, and he teaches them. So, yeah. But he still runs a tight ship. Um, detached 09 PD, we're all hurt and angry and upset. We'll forgive some colorful language because I think you're saying what we're all feeling. I hope Thanks. my colorful language. I, is and also I do. I, that's not who I am on here, and yeah. I apologize a little bit, but that's I mean, what I'm feeling. I feel like I don't want to be on with you guys tonight because you're so far. I know. <laughs> I know we're waiting for your big F bomb. Yeah. Um, Mike said, 
they would not say that shit to my face. That was during my rant. Uh, and I'm yeah. sure they would yeah. not, Mike. If that looks like you on the picture, I would not say that to your face yeah. either. Um, Trevor said, Tough daily guy. listener, first time commenter. This has been the most comprehensive Coyotes coverage ever. We needed a show like this. So thankful for you three. We'll miss tuning in. Saludos from Mexico. Wow. Wow. Thank you for listening and thank you for commenting. Thank you very much. And it's always great. You know, there's always people I feel like are lurking and never comment. And it's great to see some yeah, new names is. on the on the list. And then Vincent from PHLY, best show on All City. Wish you all the best from PHLY. I can always follow the Flyers. Thank you, Vincent. Appreciate it. All City has been great to us this week as well yep um and then oh, mike, look at mike we're gonna see mike down mike there. said just rsv for saturday and his grandson. Bought, bought four ticks in section 213 bringing my grandson wife and daughter see you there cannot wait to see you mike that's awesome Can oh, I by the way mike that? Yep. first rounds on you i don't know if i told you that <laughs> yeah but. for all for the entire group no. mike and, and i want everybody that's going down to tucson to hear this too like we will we've done this every time down in tucson we all get together to take a group photo and we do it as a community and as a group and stay tuned to the Discord if you're part of the Discord, but keep an eye on us. And one other thing, if you see Leah, Craig, and I, I know Craig is incredibly intimidating and he looks like he's really mean because that's how I used to feel about Craig. But please, please, I, I, I encourage you to stop by and say hi if you see us at the TCC at that game of, of the two stars, please stop by and share your stories. We want to hear them. We're a part of this community. We want to hear what you have to say and, and absolutely don't, don't pass opportunity to approach us and give us your story. And we'll all take our picture together and, and celebrate the moment together as a group. I may be mean though. You are a little, no. you are intimidating. <laughs> Why am I intimidating? I'm like, I, don't know, I think it's the hair. Five and change. I think it's the hair. <laughs> what are you talking Not about? Not when you stand on your wallet. That, well, oh, I, I stood on a stool at, in, in the last uh, exactly. get together in Tucson. Exactly. <laughs> so I looked like I was eight feet tall. That was exactly. great. That's oh, a, one of my goodness. favorite moments. Are we in doing my a life. show down there too? Yes, we are. Yeah, we are. Jesus. Ringside, ringside, ringside. Yep. Are That'd we good? awesome? So, what happens on Wednesday if we cry? We cry. Are we okay with that? Yeah, I, I mean, I've cried on the show before. <laughs> yeah. Who? Yeah, oh, there might I'm be not, tears. I, I, there might be tears. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, matter of fact, I will almost guarantee tears. Yeah, it's hard. It's I hard. almost cried tonight. I'm gonna go down. When you started I'm, I'm, I'm hoping emotional. to get the opportunity to say goodbye to a lot of friends there, and a lot of my friends are going to Salt Lake. A lot of my friends that I've I've talked to over the last 48 hours are planning on making the move, and they're already planning on getting out of their apartments. And it's ironic since they made the announcement, and since they found out when they left on this road trip, none of this existed. Yep. None of it. They had no idea this is happening when they got on a plane. They haven't seen their wives, their kids, their families. And yet over the last 48, 72 hours, the they're sitting there planning changed. on moving. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I can't even like I think I've, I I feel bad for our situation. Can you imagine? I, I, I literally can't imagine that, that your life has been disrupted that much in the last 72 hours. And I'm, people who aren't moving and don't have jobs. after. Yep. This. And there's a lot of yeah. those people, too. A lot of those people that don't have jobs anymore and and are and, and are in tough spots. And I hey, it's not just money; it's buddy, insurance. I've I'm one of the only people here now that Morello has taken a livelihood away from me twice. That's hard to do, buddy. That's hard to do. So this this hits this hits personal to me. This is personal, yep. and we'll see, we'll see what the future holds. And, and every time one door closes, another one opens. I've never been happier in my entire life. And never been better when the last door closed. And this door's opening has been a, a fabulous thing for me. This door is going to close. And everybody out there, things are going to get better. I'm just telling you, there's positive things ahead because that's what I believe. Yep. Um, well, we want to take a few minutes to highlight some of the amazing responses. And by the way, more than 500 responses yeah, to the call for photos and memories on Twitter. Mm-hmm. So thank you to everybody. And I'm sure... It, I mean, it barely scratches the surface of all the Coyotes fans out there. Um, and we wanted to just highlight a few. And yeah. again, in the coming weeks, we will allow like for opportunities for everyone to share their memories. But these were just some some that stood out to me the other night. We just couldn't get to them. Um, so, Danielle, we can just go in any particular order. Um, so here's the first one. And you kind of have to be watching on YouTube to see. This is a great family photo then and, and now. Um, oh. Just a great juxtaposition wow. that one really made me smile <laughs> yeah um, somebody's hair is from the 80s i won't say who's <laughs> this next one Even though the team didn't get here till um, the 90s. on the way to the first whiteout this is a great one for four buddies in the driveway all white getting ready to go um this one from diana we all know diana iconic of getting engaged on the ice yep. at gila river um absolutely unbelievable 
Uh, this one from Kyle. This one, this one blew my mind. Me too. Um, yeah. Either make it bigger or, da- or Danielle, you can read it. Can you read it, Danielle? <laughs> oh boy, making making the dyslexic person read on air. All oh, right, sorry. Here, no, we're good. Would would never have met my wife without the coyotes. We met in the we met we met in the tunnels ice level. She was singing the national anthem that night, and I was, and I was the seats for soldiers honoree that That's night. A, Heartbreak emotion. That is how they Unreal. met. They got married. Unreal that story. is how they met at but, the arena. Oh my god! That one kills me. Yep. Um, kills me. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, I can prepare myself to read the next one, Danielle, if that helps. I, 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 I again though, that it's more than a hockey team. Yep. And and people. Important people, if you're listening, and I know you're not, but if you, it's more than a hockey team. Understand it's more that. important to people than you think it is. Yeah, yeah this next one, um, they became my second team the day every non-Kings fan in Melbourne decided to adopt them. Keller becoming a crowd favorite and then that Cooley goal in front of passionate hockey fans who don't get to see the NHL live was electric and so, so special Melbourne's team. And that part made me really emotional. Yeah, because you were there. Because we were there, and I remember thinking, I bet you a lot of these Australian hockey fans just adopted the Coyotes, and they clearly did. Yep. And that really makes me sad. Um, This next one, the one and only, look, they're getting married in the hockey rink. Unbelievable. Wearing Yotes gear. In Yotes gear. That's fandom. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is my favorite one. Yeah, this one. This is the one that reminds me of my journey with this team this is a father daughter um just obviously years apart and it's just the, yeah, yeah it's how it started and how it ended yeah <laughs> it's it, it, and that's how i feel about my life with the coyotes and that what that's the one that that i had to p- take a pause today yeah. when i saw that one so i mean that barely scratches the surface again i recommend going and reading the thread it's unbelievable can, i was so emotional the other night can i have a, a request yes and it'll probably be an all city request I don't know how this works with YouTube and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know. I think we can put stuff on there, right? <laughs> yes. Could we could we make this all of the things we got almost like in a in a slideshow and it's put it up? I'm, I have, a, I have plans. Thing? Can I sing? Like I will remember <laughs> I you. I don't know do, if we want do, you singing. Because do, do, do. I don't think copyrights well, will allow we, us to actually get yeah, that. Yeah, we can't use Sarah McLaughlin, so we we could use you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you sing in a high voice though? I will. I will get, do my best. Get the high octave. Yeah, yeah, we 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 need to. I I I think that would be a good idea. I, I, think, I have can some Can we hear plans. the high octave right now? Just a couple notes. No. I will remember <laughs> you. Do 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 do. do. Oh, yeah, it goodness. makes me tear. I I I literally when Leah sends us those pictures. That's the song that plays in the back of my head, and it breaks me up every time. Yep. Just kills me. This is so horseshit. And the, the worst part, I, I probably, this will be a really short rant. Okay. The worst part is I don't think it had to happen. No, it didn't have to happen. And that's the part that hurts me the most. Misstep after misstep. Misstep after misstep. And, and I'm talking missteps in the last 24 months. Yeah. And, and I don't think this had to happen. Yep. I don't think we needed to be sitting here talking about the heartbreak right now. I just don't. And that that's where I'm the most frustrated. And I hope hockey comes back to the Valley. I hope kids, I told my son today, because he unfortunately won't be able to be at the last game. And again, he was born in this franchise. He was a stick boy when he was eight. He won't be there Wednesday. And I told him, hockey will be back in the Valley in your lifetime, Jackson. It'll be back. I promise you. And he said, it won't be the same. I know. And that's no. how I feel watching Gunther and Doan score tonight. Yeah, because it won't be Gunther. It won't be Doan. It won't be this. And especially just after spending years talking about these guys. Yeah. Years. Yeah. <laughs> they're our friends. They're like they are. Yeah. They we 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 see them at the rink and they're they're gone. I know. And it's just, it's not even just just this team. It's it's past Coyotes too. It's just Yeah. What are they going to I was on a podcast with Redeem Verbata. Yeah. Over We're going to the By the way, that's that's another show we have planned here. We're going to get an opportunity to talk yeah. to some of the alumni. And some of what this means to some of the guys that are still here in the Valley that that have been a part of this franchise. We're getting an opportunity to talk to them over the upcoming weeks as well. So stay tuned. Uh, again, we're not going away on Wednesday. Like that, that's not it for 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 PHNX Coyotes. So just stay tuned. We've got a lot of stories that that we want to tell, and we're going to tell them here. And we might we we might just find a way to get together, you know, from time to time. Yeah, the three of us. We might. Yep, we might. 
Um, <laughs> I want to amplify some fan messages that we've been getting about Wednesday's game. First of all, there seems to be a movement to make Wednesday's game a whiteout. So cool. if you are going to the game, if you're lucky enough to get a ticket, I know they've, they're ridiculously expensive. Um, I want to let everybody know that a whiteout is being planned. So if you want to participate, you absolutely can be part of that. Um, I've also seen a message about everybody gathering outside the arena. For those who can't make it in, there's opportunities outside of the arena. Um, 6 p.m., I've heard of kind of everybody getting together outside to do kind of like a last howl situation. And then I've also heard after the game outside the arena to kind of line the streets and send off the players. So I just wanted to amplify some of those messages um, because that will be Wednesday. And I know not everybody has the opportunity to get inside, but if you just want to be around the atmosphere, um, there'll be some opportunities to be with other Coyotes fans. That makes better. And I will say this, when, when you have those periods of grief, it's good to grieve together. Yeah. And I think it's important to do it together. So if you feel like coming down, come down. Talk about it. Yeah. Come down and talk about it. But, but I do want to say this. If you are going to come down, you're going to be a part of it. Again, this isn't about being angry and mean and hateful. This is about coming together to share our experiences of a hockey team. Yep. So that's what I want to say. Yeah. I, I, I know there's a lot of anger toward certain people. Yeah. I hope this is more of a celebration. Yep. I want it to be a celebration. Yeah. I'm not celebrating them. No. By any means. No. But but I want to celebrate this franchise, the players, the, this community, the yep. hockey community. Yep. And I, I really I agree with that. Yeah. So, and stay tuned. There might be some more stuff we're teasing for celebrating. Because who knows how to celebrate better than the staff of PHNX? <laughs> Go to Craig's house and we'll tell you. How about cool. even tonight, Danielle, bring in a whole spread. Boy, howdy. This, this PHNX crew knows how to party. We sure So stay do. tuned. Another PD teaser. Yep. Stuff um, coming. Also, you know, the Suns, they just avoided the play-in. Yes. They have a playoff series coming Playing up. the T-Wolves. D-backs is in full swing, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> and if you want to go to any of those games, make sure you get your tickets on Game Time because Game Time is now an authorized ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which makes getting tickets even faster and easier. I've seen D-backs tickets, like those Wednesday afternoon games, for like $9. Yep. It's unbelievable. Yeah, how cheap it is on game time to get tickets, especially last minute day of game. So you can save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedies, theaters, etc. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, use code PHNX for $20 off your first purchase. Terms of Apply again, create an account and redeem code PHNX for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. And then, as I've already mentioned, this is the perfect time for OGs. It really and is. again, another product you will not find where? In Utah. Salt Lake City. Nope. You can get your OGs here because they're scratch and locally made here in Arizona to fit all your THC and CBD needs. They are uh, they're our go-to here in the studio. Well, trust me, we didn't tonight, but I I, I cannot deny that they might have been at Craig's party. <laughs> they have launched new products with live Ross, and I don't know what that is, but it's good. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's good. They have great flavors. The cream skull, the cream stickle edition. The creams are my favorites, but they got the sleep edition, the happy balance, which we all need a little happy balance right now. And the best way to take care of that was some scratch made Arizona O. Geez, to learn more about OG's gummies and where you can find them and how to use them and what they can do for you, head on over to OG'sBrands.com. You must be 21 or older to enjoy responsibly. All right. A couple more super chats before we wrap up. John said, I like the idea of the new team name being the Thunder, just like the team that moved when my mom was a kid and a fan. Oh. I have to say, I'm all in for Utah Yetis. Utah Yetis. I don't I'm have a problem with that. I'm all in on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Defiance 151 I will be outside at the last game and would love to interview as many fans as I can to share their favorite memories and document the fan base thank you PHNX for everything y'all rock if you see Defiance at the game Defiance. go talk to him um, Chris sent us this super chat apologies Chris we did not get your message but we appreciate the super chat and as always we appreciate the bobbleheads that you sent us in the mail thanks Chris um, Tyler said thanks for all the hard work you guys put in us fans appreciate it more than you know Bettman rode with this team for so long what do you think was the straw that finally broke the camel's back mm, more on that later in the week 
Yeah. We'll follow Craig. Yeah. You'll see. More on that later. Drop in gloves said, can we please put an obituary in the Arizona Republic for the mullet magician? <laughs> I'm not dead yet. yet. He's not dead yet. He's not dead yet. Not dead yet. We did say yet, didn't we? Yeah, but I'm not. It's kind of speaking of teases. I'm not. I'm not opposed to that. Actually, (laughs) (laughs) I like that. Um, and then Yotes Forever sent us a super chat. Also, apologies, we did not get a message, but we appreciate the super chat nonetheless. Canadian dollar, so we know you're in Canada. Thank you. Um, anything else, you guys? Before we put up the punch card. We d- I was didn't want to because I was oh, kind of sad. Oh, we have to because of the reason. There's oh, this- yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at the punch card. What What is that down there? <laughs> it's just like, one. What the f- did Shonda Paz do? <laughs> like, why is that just hanging off on its own? Now, I, I will oh, say no, this. Oh, no. It kind of. I know. I was just going to wow. say it really has beat. Maybe Sean knew exactly that what that was doing. Shonda, what do you to know? have that day on its own is wow. actually incredibly appropriate. I think what we should do. And I don't, I don't know our budget. Well, I do know our budget here at PHNX. That's limited. So we probably can't do it here. But what I think we should do from our beat account or on gophnx.com, I think we should make a printable version of the very last punch card of the Arizona Cardies. And I think that should be a printable version that people could print and laminate and carry with them. So like a, like a little ID punch card they could carry with them for the memories of the final season here. Is that something we think we could do? Yeah, maybe a sticker. Maybe a sticker. See, that's why you're so creative. I like. I, I just think this is something I'm going to print that last punch card. This meant a lot to me. This show has meant a lot to me. I can't believe, I, I, I swear I can't believe that this run of PHNX Coyotes is over. From where we started, that first day when Leah was on, it's on Leah. It's the PH Next Coyotes podcast. Hi. <laughs> no, I tease a little I bit. I was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. took us a while to find our voice and what we were doing up here. Uh, and and, and I, I, I'm stunned. Uh, truthfully, I never shut up. So. Yeah, that's true. For you, it's no big deal because you're in media. Bougie Craig. <laughs> There's another interview for me. <sighs> no, but it's funny how far this show has come. I think we should yeah, maybe we should do that no, sometime in the next two weeks to play our original show over. That's when the tears are going to come for me, buddy. Play, look, can we play our original show over? Oh, we in the next should. two weeks, we should. Yeah. Is that a thing we oh, could do? We should, should. I think we should play our okay. original show over. I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, we can just re-air it. Yeah. Uh, don't nobody judge me. It was we three years ago. We could double our views on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, look at it. We got hey Leah. Look, we got eight people tuning in. Our first watch along, we had eight people. <laughs> It's true. I'm not making that up. Eight people watched us watch a game. And I said, you know what I said at the time when we turned off the cameras? I said, I should invite him to my house. (laughs) What am I doing here? Which you would never do because you don't invite anyone over. But I could invite him to my house. Why am I doing this? And now I I see why I did this. And thank you to everybody for for listening to us talk about the game we love. And, And that's made all the difference to me. I love sharing it. And thanks for listening, man. Just thank you so much. I'm so proud to be a part of this community. Thank you. Mike said, you need to use the Holy Grail scene. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I feel, I'm feeling much better. Oh, thanks, Mike. Um, yeah, so the, our schedule this week, let me kind of go through it quickly because yeah, it's it's, a, it's not normal. Not normal. Um, so we're actually going to be off tomorrow, but do look for on the PHNX Sports YouTube channel this week. We have some extra content that we've kind of just been sitting kinda on. like my prospect report, um, yeah, which we you have, all wanted to see we today. We have a Bear Necessities and we have a Walking and Talking. So we're going to release them. So I finally got to sit down and talk to Andre Tourigny about defensive zone coverage. Right before they left town. Right before they left town. So Pete's been waiting for this. If you're a Utah fan, years. you'll want to yeah. watch this. If you are a YouTube fan, you uh, too. Utah, Utah <laughs> not you too. You YouTube fans can listen too. We might get four followers if we did that way. We should have pandered to the YouTube fans earlier. Yeah. I didn't know. We thought we but were if you want to know about the, the Utah Thunder's yeah. new defensive zone system, flamingos. Yetis. Craig will be telling you, all, and, and yeah. my walking and talking with Gunther was in much happier times. Boy, <laughs> we'll put them out. I can't believe that. I did two walking and talkings <laughs> that week, Michelle week. and Gunther, and I was so happy. And I can think of all the walking and talkings. I we had just planned a Doan versus Doan game show oh, we were going to play in the summer. <laughs> we have a Doan versus Doan game show. I pitched it to to, to Josh. Josh was, all on board. He was all in. All in. Doan versus Doan game show live from the ice den. We had so many ideas. We had so many fun ideas that just aren't going to happen. So sad. Um, okay. <laughs> so, All off right. tomorrow, but expect just keep your eye on the PHNX Sports YouTube channel. Tuesday, we're going to be live at 11 a.m. So, our the morning? Uh, it's yep. our original time if you've been here we'll for a tell while. Why. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Jeff Merrick uh, is joining the show Tuesday at 11 live. He is just reconfirmed, by the way. Cool. 
friend of the show. So really looking forward to talking to him. The other half of soul. 32 Thoughts. So really looking forward to chatting with him. But that's why it'll be at 11 a.m. So mark your calendars for that as well. Wednesday, of course, is the last game and the last PHNX Coyotes post-game show. So join us Wednesday. I, I will say this, though, for that show, be patient. Yeah, that. Because that's not going live yeah, within they, 10 minutes. I know. It's funny. When we first started the show, it was we had to get live in 30 to 90 seconds. And that's <laughs> not a joke. And it was Peter Panic time. And now we've got a little more leisurely pace. Not leisurely, but we get on. 10 to the, 15 now. After the last game on Wednesday, it's going to take us a hot minute to get on air. Yeah, we, we, we've got to do some stuff after yeah. the game. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So just be patient with us. Plan on having a late night on Wednesday. Um, there's a lot of people we have to talk to in preparation for that show. So, so just be patient with us, please. Thursday? Thursday will be live probably around 2.30 p.m. A um, little later than normal. Break, yeah. My fault, by the way. It's so. all good. Breakup day is that morning as well, so we'll have lots of stuff. Do we have breakup day interviews and stuff? We will. Yeah, so that's going to be Are a they going to be made fashion. available? Of course. Yes. Um, and then Friday, we will be going live at some point. We just don't know when yet, so stay tuned. Yeah. Um, hit the notification bell on our YouTube so you don't miss it. We'll obviously let everybody know on our Twitter as well. Uh -huh. And then Saturday, we're going to do a post-game show from Tucson ringside and it, it won't be post like if you can't watch the game it's not a post game we're not going to talk about the game but it'll be kind yeah. of post that game and we're going to talk to uh, some two a lot of road runners yeah. it'll be road road runner themed show yeah. we'll get some road runners on the show and uh talk about their quest to the playoffs in the yeah. nhl championship so a little yep. bit of a chaotic week our schedule it'll be at our on our twitter account at ph underscore coyotes if you completely forgot everything i just said which i don't blame you um so just bear with us throughout this roller coaster of a week and just to reiterate our show does not end this week we still have shows planned we 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 will let everybody know when our last show will be but it won't be this week and it won't be next week either so yep just just stay tuned yeah keep That's with all we us can say. It's, a, it's a moving target yeah. for us just like it is with yeah. a lot of people it's, it's a moving target yeah so stick with us and continue to support phnx you know we appreciate all of our diehards have been unbelievable and our discord as well so it, you know we would still lo love you to invite you to be a, a phnx diehard and also just support all the great work of all the talented people here at phnx um before we wrap up john sent us a super chat pd got me hyped for the face-offs video oh, now no. it might not come i know I know. We'll, I know. we'll figure something out. I, I, I still, like I said before, I want to talk hockey and I got a Twitter account. I know a lot of NHL centermen living in this town. We can figure something out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's it from us. Anything else tonight, you guys? No, Coyotes lost 6-5 <laughs> in Calgary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a post-game show. post-game show. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just another day closer. to. Nope. to, to I'm saving uh, my thoughts. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to make you guys cry I'm another day. I'm sitting on I'm my thoughts, tissues, too. Buddy. Yep. Um, and by the way, I did put my thoughts in towards gophnext. Yeah, .com. read that. That was yeah, that was wonderful. Yeah, it yeah, really it was. Great. And I cried a lot writing it, so I didn't, you know, I kind of keeping my thoughts to myself for now as well because it's emotional. But I would, yeah, if you want to read that, gophnext.com, it would really mean a lot to me. It's also pinned at the top of my Twitter account. Um, but we appreciate you all. Hit the like button on this video before heading out. Um, and be sure to subscribe to the PHNX Sports YouTube channel so you don't miss all the stuff we have coming up. You can follow us on Twitter at Hockey, at Leah Merrill, at Craig S. Morgan, at Abrica Danielle. And you can follow the show on Twitter at PHNX underscore Coyotes. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening, everybody. And we will talk to you soon. We all silly like the mayor.